Hello friends, welcome to my blog. This is Anupam Pushko and in this video we are going to install vCenter 6.5 using UI. So let's start with the video. So I've already copied the ISO. So in this ISO you will have CLI mode as well as UI mode. So in this case we are going to use UI mode. We'll click on installer. You must be aware VMware is emphasizing more on installing the appliance this time. And we'll be doing both windows as well as the appliance. So right now we are doing with appliance. Except the EULA. In this case, we are going to use platform service controller embedded with vCenter. So both will be embedded. vCenter with embedded platform service controller. I'll give ESX or a vCenter. So in my case, I'm just going to give my ESX details. That's 21. Certificate warning, yes. So this will be the virtual machine name, so you can give anything. So that will be the root password. So in this one, we have like tiny, small, medium, large, and extra large kind of a deployment. You can see here, tiny means it just requires two CPUs and 10 GB of memory, 250 GB of storage, which can handle up to 10 ESX host and 100 virtual machine. Whereas the extra large can be as big as 24 CPU, 48 GB of RAM, and 980 GB of storage, which can host 2000 ESX and 35,000 virtual machines, which is a huge size. So let's go ahead. And in my case, I'm just using the tiny one. You can also change the default storage data storage size. So let it be a default, whatever it choose to. We'll be choosing data store. Yeah. And don't mark. Um, it's in my case, I'm just using a thin disk because I will not be having sufficient. So thin disk. Let's give the you can keep this as a blank as well, so, or you can give an FKTN if you have updated the DNS servers. So let me first of all update the IP. Okay, so FQDN system is not resolved, well. that's fine. Or you can uh, leave it blank, it takes an IP address. So the target ESX host is this, the vCenter, it, it gives a complete summary of your configurations, what you have done till now. Now let's go next, and it's just a finish. We'll go to vCenter and most probably the deployment would start. Hello guys, so our installation is complete of an appliance. We're done with the stage one. We can see the IP has been updated. Again, we'll go back to the appliance installer. 
so stage one is done now we will click on continue we are ready with the stage two and this is to set up vCenter appliance with an embedded platform service controller so here is the place where we configure our vCenter server if we have an NTP server okay but the SSH bit is still good so you have to give vSphere local or whatever you want to I'm, in my case I'm giving local my SSO password site name I don't know to join right now okay so let's review the configuration and once you're okay with it click on finish so in this case once you do on finish you can't do any other thing so you have to wait so let's before we proceed let me do one thing let me increase the amount of cpu just have it two cpus and i don't want that it get overloaded let me allocate four cpus to it and let me see okay, we have we are done with the configuration yep it's done so let me click okay So our installation is complete. So let's log into this URL. Proceed. Now we are going to type our username password what we have given during the time of installation. Our single sign on username password that's administrator at local. followed by password and login. So it's going to take a little while, guys, because it's a first time logging, it has to do lots of checks and services up and everything. So let's wait for a while. Let me close this. Let me go to the virtual machine console and show you how exactly the console looks like. I'm sorry. Uh, let me go to the console of the virtual machine. It's taking longer than I expected, yeah. Let's see the console of the virtual machine here. Here it is, so. Yeah, you can see that uh, the, even the URL to login has been given in this. It says vCenter appliance. Yeah, finally, it's look like that it's logging in. Here we are. So let it load completely. Let's go home. So you can see a complete vCenter overview here and you, if you're aware that in this in appliance by default you get update manager as well 
So here is the update manager. Let's go back. So let's go on an overview. Let me drill down something. So even they have done some changes in the server profiles or a host profile. So you can even export a CSV and do lots of configurations for it. Thank you guys. Uh, thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe and like the video.